ever-evolving landscape of urbanization, the tide of migration often sweeps individuals from bustling cityscapes to the tranquil embrace of suburban neighborhoods. This transition, while promising a change of pace and a breath of fresh air, sometimes brings along unforeseen challenges. One such challenge, unfortunately, lies in the clash of cultures and lifestyles, potentially leading to a decline in property values and a sense of unrest among suburban dwellers. Picture this, a family from a vibrant urban enclave decides to relocate to a serene suburban community, seeking peace and quiet after the constant buzz of city life. However, instead of blending seamlessly into their new environment, they inadvertently disrupt the tranquility with their urban habits and customs. From blaring music late into the night to hosting raucous gatherings on a regular basis, their behavior begins to wear thin on their neighbors. It's not just about the noise. It's a deeper issue of respect and consideration for one's surroundings. Speaking loudly, engaging in profanity, or openly indulging in substances may be acceptable in certain urban settings where the pace is fast and the tolerance for such behavior is higher. However, in the suburbs where the rhythm is slower and the emphasis is on peace and harmony, these actions can quickly sour the atmosphere and erode the sense of community. The repercussions of such discord are not confined to mere inconvenience. They extend to the very fabric of suburban life. Property values, once stable and appreciating, can start to decline as potential buyers are deterred by the perception of an unruly neighborhood. For those who once considered their homes sanctuaries of serenity, the erosion of this peace can be deeply distressing, prompting some to contemplate moving elsewhere in search of tranquility. It's crucial to recognize that this issue is not about vilifying individuals or casting blame. Rather, it's about acknowledging a long-standing challenge that has persisted for years, often overlooked or brushed aside. The transition from urban to suburban life requires more than just a change of address. It demands a shift in mindset and behavior to align with the values and expectations of the new community. Adapting to a suburban environment involves embracing its ethos of neighborly respect and consideration. It means being mindful of noise levels, understanding the importance of maintaining a peaceful coexistence, and actively participating in the communal fabric of the neighborhood. It's about fostering connections with neighbors, attending community events, and contributing positively to the collective well-being. Ultimately, it's a call to action for urban transplants to recognize the impact of their actions and strive to integrate harmoniously into their new surroundings. By doing so, they not only enhance their own quality of life, but also contribute to the overall vibrancy and prosperity of the suburban community. So, as we reflect on this issue, let's refrain from pointing fingers or assigning blame. Instead, let's approach it with empathy and understanding, recognizing that adaptation is a journey that requires effort and commitment from all parties involved. Together, we can foster a culture of mutual respect and harmony, ensuring that suburban neighborhoods remain havens of tranquility for generations to come. In closing, let's remember, Harmony begins with understanding, and understanding begins with adaptation. We must do better.